Do the holidays make you nervous? Does gift giving season fill you with stress? Know this, you're not alone. The holiday season is a very special time. From when we're kids to when we're adults, this time of year often brings up emotions past and present that are heartwarming and often stay with us throughout our lives. Gift giving is a huge component of the holidays. This time of year is when we can really practice the idea that it's better to give than receive. However, that is often easier said than done. With all the commercials and new products that come out, it can be very overwhelming because we see what others get and oftentimes we want that as well. As great as they are, the holidays are also a time to work on managing expectations, how to accept gifts we may not always want, and dealing with being around more people than we may be used to. Tip one. When opening a gift, it is always polite to smile and say, thank you, or this is awesome. Thank you so much. If you have a face that finds it difficult to smile when you're really not happy inside, it might be a good idea to practice this in front of a mirror. You can also smile quickly and then turn the conversation to the person giving the gift by asking, what gifts did you get? Try and hold the gift they gave you as you continue this conversation. That will let the gift giver know that at the very least, their gift is important to you. Tip two, try and manage your expectations before opening your gifts. Nobody ever gets everything they want for the holidays. Know that you're going to get some gifts you really want and other gifts that you don't want as much. However, even the gifts we don't immediately think we want can come in handy. Whether it's a book, a video game, or an article of clothing, the gift you don't think you want today can be the gift you're thankful to have tomorrow. Tip three. Remember tips one and two when giving a gift. Some people may feel the same way as you do if they get something they aren't sure they want. Just as you don't want to make somebody feel bad about a gift you receive, they don't want to make you feel bad either. No matter how they react, simply smile and either say, you're welcome, or I hope you like it. Remember, it's always better to be kind and thoughtful than not. Tip four, holidays for many are excuses to get together. While this is great and often fun for everyone involved, for some, gathering can be overwhelming. Someone might get nervous about seeing a particular person. Oftentimes, people might feel like they're being judged in these sort of social situations. One thing to keep in mind is that a lot of people don't feel comfortable in social settings. After the recent year in which COVID-19 altered how we saw friends and loved ones, social anxiety might be heightened as we get back to more normal ways of seeing others. Try and find a person or a few people that you are comfortable talking with. Take part in activities like watching a game or movie on TV, playing a board game or helping in the kitchen. These situations have natural social moments built into them where you can discuss what you are doing as a primary topic and even make new friends. Tip number five. Size is also an important factor at family and social gatherings. Just the sheer number of people in this sort of group is enough to be overwhelming. Try and keep this in perspective. Maybe spend time in areas where there's only a few people. And if they're people you're comfortable with, that's even better. Another option is to find a room in the home or gathering spot you are in that you can go to for short intervals throughout the event. This will allow you to have some alone time and also let you know that you have a place that is yours when necessary. Holidays are meant to be fun but can be filled with stress. Oftentimes we look forward to these occasions and when we finally get around to enjoying them, they're over before we know it. By following some of the tips in this video, this year you can have fun with your family and friends and make memories in the process.